Princess Diana and Prince Charles hoped that Prince Harry's birth would repair their deteriorating marriage, a royal author claims. Princess Diana and Prince Charles' relationship went from the fairy tale beginnings of their royal wedding in 1981, to a union famously rocked by infidelities and recriminations. After the birth of Prince William in 1981, Diana suffered profound postpartum depression, and become increasingly unhappy in her marriage. With the birth of Prince Harry, however, the royal couple had hoped to repair their relationship, according to royal author Katie Nichol. M's Nichols' 2018 book Harry, Life, Loss, and Love delves into the life of the Duke of Sussex, who is now expecting a royal baby of his own with Meghan Markle. He was born on Saturday, September 4, 1984, and the Prince and Princess of Wales looked happy as they showed the newborn prince to the world on the steps of the Lindo Wing at St. Mary's Hospital. M's Nichols writes, but all was not well. The Wales's marriage had been in trouble for some time the fairy tale slowly and painfully descending into a story of dysfunction and heartbreak. By the time of Harry's birth, Charles was becoming increasingly vexed by their incompatibility. She added, Diana later admitted that Harry's conception was if by a miracle, but there had been a brief respite in their attrition just before his birth. As with many couples who believe the birth of a child may repair damage to their relationship, both were looking forward to their new arrival. In fact, despite the fact she knew Harry was going to be a boy and kept it from her husband, Diana said that she felt she and Charles were very very close to each other the six weeks before Harry was born, the closest we've ever, ever been and ever will be. However, Diana later revealed that something inside of me died when Charles sped off to go play polo within hours of their return to Kensington Palace with the newborn Harry. He reportedly remarked, Oh, it's a boy and he's even got rusty hair. The Prince and Princess of Wales would go on to separate in 1992, before their eventual divorce on the advice of the Queen in 1996.